Hi everyone, my name is Leah Sam and I wanted to talk to you about a really cool and interesting project that I've been working on. Uh, the project that I built was a remote control car using the Arduino microcontroller and uh, basically uh, with glass I wrote a glassware app uh, which is the equivalent of an Android app that's installed on glass that can control the car and it can control, can control the car in a three different ways. The first is using uh, voice commands. So essentially you'd say OK glass uh, forward, OK glass backward. The car would drive forward and backward. OK glass left, it's going to turn left. OK glass right, the car is going to turn right. And uh, OK glass stop, the vehicle is going to stop. Uh, the second way to control the car is by actually motion control. So you using your head, head gestures. So if you tilt your head up, the car is going to drive forward. If you tilt it down, it's going to drive backward. Tilt it to the left, the car is going to turn left. To the right, it's going to turn right. And when your head is in a straightforward um, level position, the car is going to be at a standstill or a stop position. The third and final way is using the touch control on Google Glass. When you swipe forward, the car is going to drive forward. When you swipe back, it's going to go backwards. Uh, if you swipe up, it's going to turn right. When you swipe down, it's going to turn left. And when you tap the touchpad, the car is going to stop. So that essentially was the app for the project. And uh, we're going to see, I'm going to give you guys a demo uh, a little later on of exactly how it all came together. Okay, so this is the um, car project that I built. Just going to give you a quick overview of all the different components and how they talk to each other. At the back of the car here, we have an Arduino um, microcontroller. I use the Arduino Uno. And at the top is a Wi-Fi shield that I connected to the Arduino Uno. And, and basically that allowed me to communicate with the car via Wi-Fi. Then uh, at the center here is sort of the, um, the motor driver or motor controller. It's an L239D chip. And that allows the car to go forward, backward, left and right because it controls the direction with which the motors rotate. Um, this circuitry here also contains some capacitors, some electrolytic capacitors and other types of capacitors that would allow uh, prevent back EMF and prevent noise on the circuits and so on. For the power for the vehicle, I used uh, four 1.5 volt batteries daisy chained, or sorry, eight, and I daisy chained two sets of four together and that gave me a voltage of about 9.6 volts and it's, it's rated at about 3300 milliamp hours. That was enough power to drive uh, not only motor controller and the motors, which was 6 volt motors, but as well as the Arduino uh, Uno and the Wi-Fi shield. Uh, for the purposes of the camera, uh, Wi-Fi IP cameras are about $100 and I didn't want to spend that on this project. So I actually repurposed an old Android phone. Um, I installed an app called IP Webcam on this old, it's a Droid 2 phone running Gingerbread, Android operating system, and turned it into a uh, Wi-Fi IP camera, which I could hit with a URL and access this view on my app. So that turned out uh, pretty well, and that's actually what I'm using for my camera. Uh, for the base or the body of the car, I ordered this from China and essentially it's all it was was the frame, two wheels and two motors and there's another wheel, a small third wheel at the front and that was probably about eight bucks. It took about four and a half weeks to get to me but um, it was it, it served the purpose and it's, it worked really well. Alright, so now I'm going to demo to you uh, the Google Glass app. The first way of controlling the car is by using voice. Um, uh, basically, I want to say, OK Glass, drive my car, drive my car. Alright, and then I'm going to use, as I said, there was voice control, motion control, and touchpad control. We're going to use voice control. Wait till it gets set up here. Here's the camera. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, glass. Forward. Forward. Okay, glass. Stop. Okay, glass. Left. You can see it's turning left. Okay, glass. Stop. 
Okay, glass. Right. Okay, glass. Stop. And then finally, uh, backward. Okay, glass. Backward. Okay, glass. Stop. All right, so they kind of hit the wall. But yeah, essentially, um, those are the controls. And uh, um, using voice, we're able to command the car to go back, left, uh, forward, backward, left and right, and stop. So that's the first of uh, the series of, of ways that we can control the car with the Google Glass app. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how using motion control, basically head movements that you can control the car. I'm gonna start the app back up. All right, gonna select motion control. I'm gonna tilt my head up, it's gonna drive forward. Let's just let the camera activate. Backward, left, right. All right, so there essentially, forward again, so it's kind of, kind of quirky, but it actually works. So there's using motion control, um, I was able to control the car. And now, I'll show you guys here the final way to control this car by the, using the touchpad. Uh, so essentially, at the side of Google Glass, if you swipe forward, it's going to drive forward. Swipe back, it's going to drive back. If you swipe up, it's going to go right. And swipe down, it's going to go left. So here we go. It's getting set up here. All right, forward, stop, backward, stop, right, stop, down, left, stop. So there, um, using the touch control, I was able to control the car. So that all works. All right, so here is the Android app that I wrote to control the car. And essentially here you see um, the video footage of the camera being projected back into the app. And basically when I tilt the phone forward, the car is going to drive forward. When I tilt it down, it's going to go back. I tilt it to the left, it's going to go left. And when I tilt it to the right, it's going to go right. So this is um, using the accelerometer that's built into the phone. Alright, so now I'm going to demo how that all works. there's an activate um, sort of checkbox on the app which once I check that then everything is a go and it's in motion control mode so here we go forward when I put it at a neutral position it stops backward oops backward we go forward a little bit Left, right. All right, so there we go. So that was the Android one. All right, so now this is the uh, iPhone application that I wrote to control the car. And essentially it works similar to the Android version. When I tilt the phone down, forward, the car is gonna drive forward, backward, it's gonna reverse, left, it's going to turn left and right the car is going to go to the right so as you can see here there's a switch on here similar to the android one where i activate it and then it's going to get going so i'll show you how, how that uh, all works okay. all right here we go forward backward left and right all right, so this is all controlled by the iPhone app. So there you go. Um, Google Glass controlling the car, uh, iPhone app controlling the car, and Android app controlling the car. So all of this talks to the Arduino. Um, the specific protocol is UDP instead of uh, HTTP because with HTTP, as you know, there's a, it's a connection-oriented protocol and there'd be a delay. So if I said, um, you know, Okay, okay, glass forward three or four seconds later, then the car drive with HTTP. So I had to use the UDP protocol to ensure that, um, you know, things were much quicker. It's a quicker, quicker protocol. All right, so 
Um, guys, there you have it. There was my project. Um, it was an Arduino microcontrol car um, controlled by a Google Glass, a Google Glass app, as well as an Android app and an iOS app. Um, there was a lot of technologies involved in this project. I used a lot of my background, sort of pulled in deep in my background knowledge in electrical engineering and software development. There's some micro electronics, microcontroller design. There's also some uh, C programming, Objective-C, Java, and also uh, networking involved in building this project. So I hope you guys like this. I know there are a few folks out there who are interested in this sort of, you know, this sort of hobby. So hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.